And the negative, of course, is replication. In other words, where there's no new thoughts, no new ideas, where things are just being plotted out in the same way year in, year out. And of course, in our society, we're very much struggling with that. We're struggling with mass production, the whole new technology, cloning, you know, GMO, branding. All these things are actually replications of replications. And so the challenge, really, is to remain creative, dynamic, and fresh and always have new inspirations, new ideas, which can be carried out into the future. And, well, that's the sort of thinking behind it, really. But, um, obviously, I could say a little bit more about, you know, the colour work and um, some of the technical aspects of it. And, as I said, I really began this process in the centre um, with the sun. And I wanted to have these three important, almost kind of primal colours of white, black and red. If you take light, if you take colour to, towards the light, it becomes white eventually. And if you take, you know, if you compress colour, sa oversaturate it, uh, and it becomes darker and darker, eventually it becomes black. And in between, of course, weaving in between, is this wonderful red. And you could say these are the colours really of the threefold human being. Um, you've got the white for the spirit, you've got black for the body, you've got red for the soul. And then I took the red out, really, to the right and left, and in the Mars it intensifies, it becomes incredibly vigorous, incredibly rich, and placed really into the centre of this Mars panel is green, like a sort of island, the complementary colour, contained within this redness. And the red is taken out into the Venus, but of course it becomes a pink. It mingles with the white, it becomes a delicate pink, and where the sort of counter-life process is shown, the red becomes a brown. It mingles with the green and becomes a brown. And then the colours move out further, from red to orange. In the Jupiter panel, the orange is very intense, it's a sort of golden colour, and again it's sort of held within a sea of blue, and in the Mercury panel, the orange is streaming around really to the periphery with some bits of blue in between, as it were. And then finally, in the purple ones, in the Saturn panel, if you like, which is associated with breathing, you've got this lemon yellow coming down, as it were, from above, being enveloped by the red purple. And in the moon panel, you've got concentration of a bluer purple in the middle with the yellow, the lemon yellow spinning off on either side, as it were, or spinning in from either side, depending on how you look at it. And so basically you've got a kind of movement of colour. You've got from the centre outwards, you've got red, pink, orange, and lemon yellow. And then if you move in from the periphery to the inside, you've got purple moving to blue, moving to green. So on the one hand the colours kind of expand into lighter colours and on the other hand they contract into darker ones. So you've got this kind of pulsing movement of colour moving in and out of the centre. And it's a new technique essentially which I've developed which is laminated glass and um, it's on three layers of glass. It's been sort of glued onto um, a very fine three millimeter layer of glass and behind that there's a backing glass, a backing plate which has a sort of slightly ribbed streaky quality which diffuses the light and uh, the idea is that you can you know have more movement more energy finer pieces of glass than one would be able to use really if you used a more traditional method and basically I started off with some very small sketches, which were then transformed into slightly over life size sketches, and um, then then it was eventually it had to be um, traced, and um, I had to work out exactly what each piece of glass was doing, how the glass could be cut, how it could be used before it could be made into templates to um, cut out the glass for the windows.